everyone, it's Natalie and Connie with Thistles and Coos, and today we have a, a, a review for you that we highly recommend. So check out the comments below for uh, the website and where you can get tickets and stuff like that. So we're going to take you to Edinburgh, Scotland. As you know, if you haven't already been, if you don't know the stories, Edinburgh itself has to be, and there is reputable, rep, rumored, reputable, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, to be the most haunted city in not only just Scotland, but anything I've ever experienced. Um, probably in the world, I would think. There's a lot of history, there's a lot of um, stuff that's happened over the years. So when we go to Edinburgh, I like to go on the haunted tours. So I always, you know, get Connie to come with me. <laughs> drag her but you did you liked this one I did one. like it yes it was mm, scary yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um on the royal mile they have um you'll find people with umbrellas that are um advertising their tours and stuff like that this one is through old a-u-l-d old reeky vault tours now when you're walking along the royal mile you it's hard to imagine that there's like a city below the streets because once um, they built up, um, I don't know, like in the 1500s or something like that, they just kept building up. And then they ended up covering the, the vaults and um, town below kind of thing. So the tour itself, we had a, a fantastic guide. His name was Darren. And funny informative he knows his stories and he can tell a story very very well and that's what you want but most people in Scotland are really good storytellers so uh, start out on the street they take you wear good shoes wear good uh, walking shoes uh, something that the sturdy sole and something that might if you if you have a tendency to twist your ankle or roll your ankle you want something that's gonna um, protect your ankles because there's a lot of through the closes and alleyways it's pretty steep so just keep that in mind and you'll be going through steps and places can be a little bit um, tight and claustrophobic another thing if you are claustrophobic uh, this would not be the tour that you'd want to go on there is no natural sunlight windows there's no it's very damp um, there is no light except for um, the flashlight he has so you have to be careful on your feet and stuff like that but still um, if it doesn't bother you I'd say go for it if you're at all sensitive to uh, the paranormal you will experience something down there I guarantee it so on the tour the tour lasts probably a good hour maybe a little bit more because you start on the Royal Mile he walks you through stops a few times and then they take you down into the vaults um, now these vaults were uh, where the poor lived, um, criminals, um, sick, the, just the disease that ran through there was just unbelievable. But they take you in some of these vaults and if you can imagine there is no sunlight. So I can't imagine uh, if they had candles back then that um, all the, the heat, the wax, the just filth that was down there on the dirt floors and everything um, because when they're telling a story when it's all completely dark and you think if I was by myself a female uh, years ago and staying down in the vaults I don't know who's sleeping beside me so you can imagine the things that happen down there they have one room that's um, they have like a, a shrine what, what, what was the shrine? Like, it was... Um, white witches. Yes, but it was like... A, Wicca. Yeah, and we can't go in that room. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they used to have... Yeah, they set it up to uh, some sort of like a protective spell. Yeah, and you they you can look through like this window, but it's been set up, um, and it hasn't been used since 1990-something, I think, and it looks exactly the same. But um, the... The, I don't know, it's like a high priest, or I'm not really sure how, what the um, like the word usage, but they have the room set up. But the reason they set up this room was because down the hall, uh, I say hall <laughs> loosely, um, there is a room that is, they said, the most 
whatever it is, the most evil entity that is there. And I was really like, I got lightheaded and just buzzing. There's a lot of like, you feel like your skin's buzzing. But in this room that you go in, it's set in a circle uh, with these stone kind of um, markers that you are not allowed to step in the center. Um, and Darren, our guide, proceeds to tell us why. Um, if you can imagine the worst things that can happen to people, they've died, they've had seizures, they've gone to the hospital, they've gotten really sick, um, they've fallen and hurting themselves or whatever. So the whole time he's telling us this, I'm like swaying. I'm looking at Connie like, we gotta get out of here. Because you really do feel that fight or flight and there's something in the whole place down there that just has a um, very macabre feeling. Um, but definitely worth it. I think the tour, um, like I said, it, it lasts an hour and it costs, um, hmm. well, it was on our Edinburgh Pass. So I think the, uh, the cost is probably less than 10 pounds or maybe could be le definitely less than 20 pounds, I would say. So, what are your thoughts on the, the tour? Um, well, of course, it all comes down to who your tour guide is. And Darren definitely was uh, fantastic. He was very, very uh, informative, knew the area and all of the history and everything behind it. Um, I think what was interesting is when we first got to the tour, um, you literally felt like... Uh, like waves. I don't know how to describe it. We were in kind of like a holding space waiting to actually go into the vaults. And I was like, whew. I, I feel like my, like I'm on a, like a boat, like a, a rocking of the boat. And I thought, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Like, what is that? Something I ate? What is going on? And then we get in the, the tour and, and he starts, you know, telling all the stories and everything. And, and I'm standing there and I'm like, all right, nobody touched me. Number one. <laughs> Number two, uh, I am going to stay as close to this tour guide as physically possible without crawling into his skin. Um, when we when we went into the room that has the the rock circle, and if if you if you've watched any movies or if you have any knowledge on uh, Wicca witchcraft, any of that, so a circle is a protective symbol. So you have what's either inside the circle is protected and can't get out, or whatever is outside the circle is protected and can't get in. So the circle is not ever broken, per se. And so we walk in and I was like, all right, nice. There's a circle in the middle of the room. So we're following Darren in and Natalie and I actually get separated where she's on one side of the room and I was on the other side of the room. And then uh, Darren was kind of in between us and behind us was like this, I don't, like, a, oh, like a hallway. It was dark. It, something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you, you kept feeling like, you know, I'm having to stand with my back to this area, but I can't really see what's back there. And you would, and I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me. But I swear I kept seeing like movements, like, you know, shadow, and I thought, all right, who am I going to push down <laughs> when I am running out of this room, avoiding the circle because there's no way I'm going to step in the circle. Um, and that's one of the challenges that uh, Darren actually poses to uh, all of us. You know, if you're brave enough, you know, step into the circle. But I'm going to tell you that on one of my previous uh, tours, you know, I had somebody step into the circle and they ended up having uh, almost like a heart attack. Uh, that was young. Yeah. yeah. I thought, uh-uh. Not me. Not Natalie. I don't even... But did anybody in our group? Yeah. yeah. Because I thought, please don't. <laughs> it's like, out of here. Oh, I would have gone. No, I wouldn't have watched yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it definitely... Um, it's one of those, if walls could talk. Um, I can't imagine the stories um, that... Uh, that are known down there um, because just he, uh, Darren talks about how you know murderers, serial killers, 
uh, you know, where are they going to hide? Well, they're going to hide down here in these dark vaults uh, where nobody's going to find them. Um, and the the actual architecture of these vaults is pretty amazing that they're still strong. And to think that where you are, everything that's going on above you, all of the traffic, all of these... Um, Oh, the uh, uh, buildings are that are above us, you know, and we're underneath. How far down? Do you remember under the city we are? Mm. I don't know because we even went down the close that was real steep. Right. So it it had several layers of it. Right, and then we still had to go down more to get down into these vaults. And I think the scariest part is that you're kind of trapped because uh, there's nowhere to run. You there's no escape. Um, it's not like you're in a house where you're like, oh, I know where the door is. I can get out there. Um, as we were wandering uh, following uh, the guide, like, I don't know that I had a good sense of direction that I would have even known how to get back to uh, where we came in. So, uh, it was dark. <laughs> it was dark. They turned, we, out yeah, the... they turned off the flashlight and everything, and then you just have to stand there, and you're like, okay. But luckily... Um, I will say very, very respectful. At no point um, in that time, like when all of the lights turn out, and this isn't necessarily like a, uh, what is it, where you ruin the end of a story? Um, a spoiler. A spoiler, there we go. Uh, when they turn out all the lights, it's not like they scare you. Okay. And uh, he did, uh, you know, while he's telling some of the stories, while he's got your undivided attention, kind of you know, emphasize a word and kind of jump at you. Um, I'm okay with that because I'm less likely to maybe overreact and hurt myself. <laughs> but when it's completely dark and he's telling like some of the serious stories about what possibly happened there and how it is uh, still quite haunted, uh, he's very respectful, which I appreciate because I have a, uh, a respect of the paranormal and I think you kind of have to otherwise. It'll be like Natalie's a haunted house where they terrorize you. <laughs> That's not what I want. Right? Right. Anything you want to add? I think I just really highly recommend. They have some amazing tours in Edinburgh. Um, Old Reiki. I don't know if we went on any other Old Reiki tours, but there's a few. Well, no, we did. Okay, we, we have a few, I think, uh, that we blogged about. Um, I think that was the City of the Dead. Yeah. Right. Which, which was, was great. Good too. Yeah, yeah. That was really good. Um, um, but I'm going to say that of the two, I did like the Old Ricky one better. Um, I think because where you were um, in the vault, and that was just something I had not ever experienced before. Um, I've walked through cemeteries, uh, although... The one I've never been inside the what was that thing oh, called the, the, the McKinsey? Yeah, the McKinsey that little room that they that building that they took us into. What was it, what is that called? There's the a word. No. The, yeah, it was the Covenators area, but then they brought they took us into that. It was, an, it was a vault. It was like, like a, it was a um, what they mausoleum. Call? Yeah, like uh, for oh, but it's empty. empty. Yeah, it's <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> no, it didn't feel empty. It didn't feel empty at all. No, no. So anyway, Ald Ricky. Definite, absolutely, uh, yes, very, very, very positive review. Uh, I enjoyed the stories. I enjoyed um, the guide. Ask for Darren if you can pick who's going to be uh, your tour guide. I think Darren would be uh, fabulous. And then if you go and we're there and you need an interpreter, you know, you know how to get, you know how to reach us. Uh, com. Send us a message. Instagram on Facebook, um, however you need to get a hold of us um, because we are here again always to offer tips and ideas on how to make your travel simpler and uh, any way that we can give you information from our experiences is what this whole thing is for. It's, uh, it is for you um, and we hope that what we're providing is um, is what you need. If not, let us know. Drop us a comment um, and we will try to figure out how we can help you. Otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you later.